Hello class, welcome to the first lecture in METR 2023, otherwise known as Introduction to Meteorology 2. And this first lecture is mostly going to focus on making sure you understand some of the basic concepts and uh, mathematical ideas that you'll need to, uh, to sort of survive in this class, to do well in this class. So that's what this first lecture is going to focus on. And in this first segment, we're going to take a look at uh, the meteorological conventions that we use for a coordinate system and also uh, the conventions that we use for defining our winds in the atmosphere. Since this class is going to heavily focus on the dynamics of the atmosphere, uh, it's very important that you understand how, uh, we, uh, how we define our winds in the atmosphere. So that's what we're going to do. And we take a, first, uh, we take a look at the first component. Is uh, The first component we're going to look at is the zonal component, which is the component that is oriented along lines of constant latitude. And you can sort of think of this as being analogous to the x-axis on a standard Cartesian grid. And by convention, uh, if you're going easterly, if you're going uh, towards the east, then you're going towards higher values of the zonal axis. You're going in the positive zonal direction. And by convention, if you're going westerly, if you're going towards the west, then you're going towards uh, negative values or lower values along the zonal axis. And you may also remember from previous meteorology classes that uh, we typically have three different symbols to denote uh, the different components of our wind vector. And in the case of the zonal component, we use just a standalone lowercase u to denote the zonal component in the atmospheric wind. And also by convention, if we have a westerly wind, that is a wind that's blowing from the west to the east, that is defined to be a positive value of u because it's going towards the east, it's going towards the positive end of our zonal axis. And opposite to that would be an easterly wind, which is observed much less frequently, frequently than a westerly wind, but uh, we still encounter those every now and then. And that is defined as being a negative value of u because it's going from the east to the west, it's going towards uh, more negative values of the zonal axis. So westerly wind west to east, we define that to be a positive value of the zonal component. Easterly wind going from east to west, we define that to be a negative value of the zonal component. And another component that we can have is the meridional component, which is oriented along or parallel to lines of constant longitude or going, from, uh, going towards the north or going towards the south. And by convention, we define going north as being a positive value in the meridional direction. So as you go towards the North Pole, you're going towards uh, more positive values of the meridional axis. And the meridional axis is sort of analogous to the y-axis of a standard Cartesian grid. But uh, this is a spherical object, so we have to sort of adjust things a little bit to make things work. But again, going north along the meridional axis is going towards positive values of the meridional axis and going towards the south would be going towards negative values of the meridional axis. And the symbol that we use to denote the wind along that meridional axis is the lowercase v. So u is the zonal component or the east-west direction and v is the meridional component or the north-south direction. And by convention, a southerly wind, which blows from the south to the north, we define that to be positive because the wind is going towards the north, which is going towards more positive values of the meridional axis. And by contrast, a northerly wind, which blows from north to south, we define that to have a negative meridional component because it's going towards the south, which is going towards uh, more negative values of the meridional axis. And then last but certainly not least, the vertical direction, which is pretty much the exact same thing as the uh, z-axis on a standard Cartesian grid. Uh, we define The convention we use for that is going straight upward. We define that to be uh, positive, just like a standard z-axis on a standard Cartesian grid, and downward goes in the negative uh, vertical direction. And the symbol that we use to note the wind in the vertical direction is lowercase w. So u is the zonal component, v is the meridional component, or the north-south component, and w is the vertical component. And a lot of times, since we work with uh, three-dimensional uh, three diagrams, uh, this is a symbols, these are symbols that we'll encounter quite frequently. And uh, the circle with the little bullseye in the middle, the little dot in the middle, that's often used to represent a vector that's coming directly at you. So if you're looking at, say, a diagram on a whiteboard or a piece of paper, and you see this little symbol, that's used to denote a vector that's coming directly at you. And by contrast, a circle with a cross or an X in the middle is used to denote a vector that's going away from you or moving away from you. So if you sort of think of, say, a top-down perspective, if you can imagine yourself in an airplane at 10,000 feet and you're looking straight down at the ground, 
if you have a wind that's coming directly at you, which you would use this symbol to represent, if you have a wind that's coming directly at you, if you can visualize that, then that would be a wind that is moving upward uh, or moving uh, towards higher values of z. And by convention, we uh, we define that to be a positive value of w. And w, again, is the symbol we use to denote the vertical component of the wind. If the wind is moving upward and you're an airplane 10,000 feet, the wind has to be coming at you if you're looking down at the ground. And similarly, using that same convention, if you're looking down at the ground, if the wind is moving away from you, then it has to be moving downward toward the ground. And that would therefore result in a value of a negative value of w, which is again the vertical component of the wind. So again, positive component or positive value of w means a wind that's traveling upward. Negative value of w is a wind that's traveling downward. And if we put all that into the wind vector, uh, Sometimes you'll also see this uh, part right here, u, uh, be written as u instead of v. But uh, the whole wind vector is just the zonal component times the i hat unit vector, which is the unit vector that goes in the x or the zonal, uh, the zonal direction. And then v, the meridional component, times the j hat unit vector, which goes in the meridional uh, direction or the y direction. And then finally, the vertical component multiplied by the k hat unit vector, which points directly upward. And that vector is typically used to represent the entire three-dimensional wind field. So that's going to do it for this particular segment, uh, just talking about the meteorological coordinate system and the conventions that go along with it, especially as it pertains to the wind field. In the next segment, we'll talk a little bit about the gradient vector and review how exactly that works. So with that, I will see you all in the next segment.